And they're facing a tough hombre and Kevin Gosman has had a great year. Kevin Gosman outstanding, huh? Ooh. He is on his game. Boy, what a stud right now, huh? This is a wipeout splitter. I mean, look at the drop in that thing. Kevin Gosman, he's been brilliant again. Got him. Great movement on that splitter. He'd be a fun guy to catch. The Blue Jays invested deep over $100 million to bring Gosman in, and he's been really good. Your first year in Toronto, huge success, I would say. And it's been amazing to be able to watch your transformation going back to 2013 when you made your major league debut, catching some of those games in 14, 15, even a couple in the minor leagues in 2012. And we've talked about this before, but you know the usage, the way you use your pitches, the zones, all these different types of counts. Was there was there an aha moment that everything just kind of culminated and you said, what have I been doing all these years? This is it. This is it. And I know that, you know, I was drafted in the first round and I know I can be a top of the rotation starter. This is the aha moment. Did you have that? Um, I mean, really for me, it was when I got traded um, to Atlanta. You know, they were really the first team that kind of brought a spreadsheet to me in videos and was like, this is how you pitch, but you shouldn't pitch this way. Your numbers when you pitch this way aren't very good. And so um, your numbers out of the stretch are really good. So we're going to cut the wind up out. You know, you're going to pitch out of the stretch primarily. Now I just feel more confident that if I can go out there and throw the ball where I, where I want to and, and set up my pitches the way I know I can, then I can be successful. But it's definitely been a grind. Kevin Gosman is one of those pitchers that has been known around baseball to have outstanding stuff. You've got to tip your cap to Kevin Gosman. And Kevin Gosman racks up his ninth strikeout tonight. Kevin Gosman was built for these games. You know, I recognize that that split was a really good pitch. I wish I would have recognized earlier on that we should have thrown that more and more and more. And I think that's what you've been able to do. And the thing about the split, it's, it's a unique grip, I think. A lot of times when you talk about like an original split, you'll talk about guys that kind of really dig it, you know, and they're, they're in there really deep. Eric Swanson has like a really deep dig, but, but yours is a little bit different. Can you show us like the grip that you have? And it's called Vulcan. Was that what you would call it? Yeah, I've heard it called a Fosh before. I don't know what that it even Sounds like an expensive car somewhere yeah, in Italy. You know, what that even means, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that I've tinkered with over the years and kind of finding what's comfortable for me. And, and a big thing for me is where I put this middle finger on the seam. So whereas all my other pitches, I kind of want the seam on the outside. On this one, I want it on the inside. And I think that makes my split as, as good as it is. And I think it's because it spins more. And so it looks a little bit more like a fastball sure. than, than most other splits. Yep. And if you look at the spin, I mean, it's a lot higher than most other splits. That split finger is really Kevin Gosman's bread and butter pitch. His splitter is one of the best pitches in baseball. Swing and a miss. Got him with the splitter. Got him. Great movement on that splitter. You've been around the block a time or two. You've had a lot of different catchers over the years. The pitcher catch relationship is really unique, really important. Pitchers usually have catchers they kind of prefer. Are there attributes that you really enjoy with certain catchers? Yeah, you know, that's kind of pick your poison, right? Um, I mean, everybody now is, is, is a good ball handler. And when I say that, I mean, presenting strikes to umpires. You know, you're, you're not gonna be a big, big catcher unless you do that. And that's just kind of the reality nowadays. So for me, I just kind of rely on those guys to, to read the hitters. And, um, you know, I know my strengths and, and where best to throw them in the zone for me to be successful. It's a good relationship when you can communicate with each other and, and be on the same page. And, um, you know, having guys who have done it, Jano's been here for a while now, and, and Kirk coming up has, you know, kind of hit the ground running. And so it's been fun to watch those guys get better every day. I'm sure there's a host of Canadian kiddos out there watching this right now that aspire to be the next Kevin Gosman for the Toronto Blue Jays. If you had to say one thing or two things, whether it's advice or just uh, words of encouragement to them, what would that be? Don't try to be like anybody. You can watch guys on the big leagues and, and you know, I talk to kids every off season that are, you know, I try to emulate Jacob deGrom and like, that's great. But the stuff that Jacob deGrom can be able to do, you know, there's only a handful of guys sure. in the world that can be able to do that. Right. And so, um, you know, don't get discouraged if you can't move the way that Jacob deGrom moves, you know, or, or throws a fastball down the way like him, you know, just be who you are and 
me specifically, once I started doing that and just kind of honing on on what my strengths have been, um, you can live with yourself a little bit better when, when, you know, it does go south because you're, you're going with your best pitches and with conviction and, and you're getting beat with your best as opposed to trying to throw your fifth best Sliders. fist and, <laughs> and, and, try, and try to get beat that way. You know, that's when you usually stay up at night. Sure. Kevin, can't thank you enough for doing this. I'm sure there's a bunch of Toronto fans that are excited to hear Pink Floyd's money here real right. soon when you tow the mound for the Toronto Blue Jays. Best of luck, man. Thanks again for doing this. Absolutely. You got it, bud. And they're facing a tough hombre in Kevin Gosman, who's had a great year. Kevin Gosman, outstanding, huh? Ooh. He is on his game. Boy, what a stud right now, huh? This is a wipeout splitter. I mean, look at the drop in that thing. Kevin Gosman, he's been brilliant again. Got him. Great movement on that splitter. He'd be a fun guy to catch. The Blue Jays invested deep over $100 million to bring Gosman in, and he's been really good. There's a sense I can feel in the clubhouse of just professionalism, seriousness. Maybe it's the additions of a Brandon Belt, of a Kevin Kiermaier, Chris Bassett. It just feels like there's some real intentional intent. You think maybe last year and the way it ended leads to that. Bringing in those guys, I think just brings the level of attention to detail a little higher. You know, Brandon Belt's been there before. He's He's been a part of some really good teams that have made incredible runs in the postseason. And so I think some of these young guys can maybe look at him when we're going into a big series. Like he's the same guy no matter what. You know, his, his heartbeat doesn't go any faster because it's a big situation. And I think some of those young guys can really learn from that. And like you said, the guys that we brought in, um, you know, they, they just kind of bring a, fre a, a breath of fresh air, you know, and a new perspective. So um, it's been fun to get to know those guys. These new guys have brought with them a style of play that is different. Leaps into the air and he made the catch! Oh my goodness! Varsho coming on and he makes the catch in left center field. This style of play is infectious. Analytics has really helped you and really kind of turned you into the player that you are today. It's taken what you do well and exploited that. You got to give a lot of credit to analytics. You know, I give a lot of credit to the Giants and, and the Reds. I mean, I was with the Reds for the last two months of 2019 and I was out of the bullpen and it was pretty much, hey, throw your two best pitches. Like you're only going to come in, you're probably going to face a couple guys. And so throw your best two pitches. And I started striking out more guys. And so that was kind of another, you know, light bulb moment for me was, um, all right, you know, these two pitches play really well off of each other. Maybe let's see how I can do this. And um, the Giants coming to me, signing me for a one year deal in 2020, um, was probably one of the best things that ever happened in my career. And in COVID, I, I redeveloped my delivery to kind of be able to throw up in the zone more effective. And, and like you said, analytically, I knew that my ball was rising at, you know, 20 inches. And so if I can throw 20 inches that's rising and then throw my split where the bottom falls off, um, that's really tough on hitters. And so, um, and then I wrinkle in my slider that has only gotten better as my career has gone on um, and mix in the command and really all the things. So it's kind of been a perfect storm of, of everything coming together. How about Kevin Gossman, the guy that was uh, pretty much thrown to the side by not having the stuff that many people thought was going to develop? Well, throw that out. I don't think Kevin's a guy that worries about velocity more than he worries about location and movement. Something I love about you is your durability, your dependability. Is there some sort of secret sauce in there? Because a lot of guys are facing a lot of stuff, whether it's injury-wise or, or elsewhere. You find a way every five days to get on that mound and give your team a chance to win. And that's a huge attribute that the Blue Jays are really lucky to have. Is there some sort of secret sauce that you found over the years, that whether it's an exercise or something, is there a routine that you do that really allows you to be on the bump every five days? At a time when the Blue Jays starting rotation has been in flux, it's always good to rely on Kevin Gosman and his track record of consistency. I think a lot of it has to do with his pitch ability now. You know another ability he's got? Durability. You know, I think that's just longevity, like listening to my body, trying different things and spring training in the off season. And I've tried a bunch of stuff that I thought would work and, and it didn't. And, and being able to kind of recognize that and, and cut it out of my routine. But anything you do for a while, you kind of learn what, what's gonna make you at your best.